you guys. I hope everybody that is watching this is doing well. I've been hearing the phrase, I need to get my life together more than I usually do. So I wanted to make a video of the top three things that I do when I just feel like I need to get my life in order. If you're new to this channel, uh, know that I have recently moved into my first home. And I've said this many times, but moving into a home really is the constant feeling of I need to get my life together because you are now like redesigning an entire living space and environment and it's very overwhelming. Um, on top of moving, I also moved full-time jobs in the middle of moving, something I never ever recommend you try. But if you feel like you just need to get your life together, here are the top three things that I do to get everything in order. If you are drowning in a million things you need to get done, first of all, it is super, super stressful and it affects like, I don't know about you guys, but it affects my anxiety and my sleep. If I have a lot of things to do, do your brain and your stress level a huge favor and just sit down, take a deep breath, pull out a piece of paper, make a master list. List everything. Doesn't have to even be in order. Just sit down and have like a brain dump onto a piece of paper master list everything that needs to get done. Even if it's something reoccurring, if it has to get done, it goes on the list. Then once that's all done and in front of you, take another deep breath, look at the list, circle two to three things to do on that list today. I recommend going with the ones that are time sensitive. And then tomorrow, choose another two to three things. This list is not something that needs to get done right away. I mean, unless you need to pay like a huge amount of bills and they have to go quickly, then I would just say pay bills and then pay all of them. But generally speaking, try to do two to three things on that list a day. My second tip is to get a planning or organizational system that works for you. Some people are very into planners. Some people are very into paper planners. Some people are only into online or, you know, phone planners or like Outlook or whatever you use as an online calendar. Find what works for you. For me personally, I like to have a paper planner for like my personal life, YouTube, all that. And then I have an electronic calendar because I have to share it at my work. So it's kind of nice to have like a work play balance. I have a calendar for work. I have a calendar for personal. For my personal calendar, I like to have different colors of like pens or markers. I have a color for bills and like reoccurring expenses. I have a color for side hustles. I have a color for my regular reoccurring job. I have a color for YouTube. I have a color for miscellaneous. I like to just have everything out in front of me. If you're somebody that struggles with stressing about these things, having them all in one place helps immensely. And my third and final tip, I'm trying to keep these tips nice and low, so I decided to go with three. My third and final tip is to choose one day a week to get your life on track. For me personally, I made Thursday my day to get everything in order. It used to be on Sunday, and then I realized that I wanted that day to prepare for the week, like in other ways, like just to relax since I was gonna, you know, start the five day work week. Um, so I made Thursday the day that I would do all of my, you know, weekly chores to keep everything in order. I will actually read you my Thursday to-do list. And this is in my planner. For example, this Thursday, I will do the laundry, take out the trash, put gas in my car, get groceries, clean my bathroom, vacuum, and meal prep. That's a lot of stuff to do on a Sunday. But what I'll do is I'll come home on Thursday. I won't make any plans Thursday night. Um, actually, I will leave work and I will go do the things outside of the house first. I will get groceries and gas on my way home. As soon as I come in the door, I won't even take my coat off. I will take the trash out since I live in Ohio and it's cold a lot. It hasn't decided if it's spring yet. Then I will start my laundry. My laundry is in my bathroom. So while the laundry is being put in the bathroom, I will clean my bathroom. It takes like a whole three minutes, spray down the mirror, spin on the counters, wipe it up. If you just make routines and kind of you know, don't cut corners, but find, you know, the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. Find the shortest distance. Make it as easy for you as you can. Again, if one day is too much and like your anxiety is, 
just not gonna work try picking two days a week to get your life in order it's just whatever works for you everything is trial and error and what works well with me might not work well with somebody else you just really have to try and see what works for you but those are my three tips on how to get your life back in order if you have anything that has really worked for you I'd be very interested in hearing it please leave it in the comment section below if you're new to this channel please make sure to click the red subscription button also down below it'll update you each and every time I upload a video once again my name is Kristen I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.